after Jesus or something, or after crucifixion. And it was written in Greek. And I ask you, did Jesus spoke, did he speak Greek? And he said maybe he spoke Greek, maybe not. We don't know. And the proof that you mentioned that he spoke Greek, that he was speaking to some of the Roman officials, and you assume that they spoke Greek. My question is, when we have the word of God, which came when Jesus came to the lost to the lost ship to the lost sheep of Israel, that's what Jesus came for. Why is it not written in Hebrew? Why it wasn't written Aramaic, all the Aramaic, yeah, which was the common language of that area. Which we know Jesus spoke Hebrew since he is a Jew or came from a Jew descendant. And why he or he chose to speak Aramaic, because this is this is the language of the common, the commoner. People who commonly speak Aramaic in that area. Or only for the only two or three officials, they are saying to me that Check, uh, yeah. which, which, um, language the, the New Testament was written in. Greek, I'm saying to you, Greek. Uh, yeah. Some, yeah, the ancient, the earliest one is Greek. So that's it. Yeah, written primarily in Greek. Which, which, uh, which year? Which year? I don't know which the earliest, one. the earliest. <laughs> Most of the Old Testament is written in Hebrew. Yeah. Good. Uh, portion of Daniel and Ezra written in Aramaic. Yeah. That's because they were. Uh, this Old Testament. Babylon. This Old Testament. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Aramaic. Good. And New Testament primarily written in Greek. So. Don't you think there's confusion here? I mean, over. You know, if it's the word of God, someone who came from Jew descendant and he spoke Hebrew and the language of the commoners, the, 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 the Israelites or the children of Israel, they speak Hebrew and he needs to communicate to them in Hebrew and most of the commandments that he was talking to them was in Hebrew when he was saying to the people, I will go to my God and your God, my father and your father. When he was talking to them, all oh, you children of Israel, our Lord Father is one. All of these statements of Jesus and you are claiming that they are written in Greek. Hold on a second. We know the Hebrew people, or the Israelites, they are very proud of their language, very proud of their ethnicity. Yeah. And yet, Jesus will choose to speak to them in Greek. Don't you think there's contradiction here? Jesus didn't speak to them in Greek. That's the earliest. That's the earliest man's script. Why do? You, why the books need to be written in Greek, where this spoke Hebrew? Hebrew. On Hebrew. And we're assuming he also spoke Greek because he spoke. You, we assume many things. Maybe we assume he spoke Japanese. We assume things. Oh, no. But the point is, it's not about our assumption. It's about. What was the language that when God communicated to the people, God wanted to talk to them, wanted to, to, to make them to understand his message, what he wants from them, he will speak to them in a language they understand. Not a language that died 300 years before Jesus. So the authors wrote in Greek, but Jesus didn't write any books. Never read the book. I'm not talking about Jesus writing. I'm not talking about Jesus writing. I'm talking about. I'm not talking about Jesus writing. I'm talking about the people who wrote from Jesus. That's my point. That that's the idea. I'm, I'm, that's my question. The question is, I'm not talking about, you know, the the people that what Jesus wrote. I'm talking about when Jesus spoke to them. He spoke to them in a language they understood. And he came to the far uh, to the lost ship of uh, to the lost sheep of Israel, and he was he he was speaking Hebrew, and the language to communicate to the children of Israel was Hebrew, and the common the common language of that area was Aramaic. Yeah, but what's the point? It's a, because if the books are written in Greek and he's telling a story about uh, 
you know, Jesus and Jesus speaking Hebrew and he's speaking. No, so it was basically it was made up. That's how it is. It was made up. It, we, we, if, now here, if I wanted to reserve the word of God, if I wanted to preserve the word of God, I wanted to talk. I wanted to make sure that this is the word of God. This is what God wants from us. Maybe. I'm not talking about the gospel. I'm talking about the Bible. I'm not talking about the gospel. The entire Bible was I'm not talking. I'm, talking, I'm talking about the gospel. We didn't come to the gospel. If we talk about the gospel, the Injil, the Injil, which was revealed on Jesus, on, on Easter, peace be upon him. We're talking about that it was in the language that people spoke. Is the gospel? Yeah, I, I will tell you the gospel. Yeah, the gospel. Now here when you say all of these ones, even these, what is uh, the gospel of John or Luke or those ones, that basically they are stories. They are, not, they are not the word of God. They are just things, stories. Made up, you could say. From what I understand, the Quran says that the, the uh, books of Moses and the Injil are not corrupted. No, the, the Quran didn't say that. The Quran says what was revealed on Moses, which is the book which was revealed on Moses, and the book which was revealed on Jesus, in Jesus is here upon him. Those are the ones which is pure, came in a pure form, and it was reserved amongst the people who were there. When it, after generations, people change, distorted, change, move things, add things, put things, translate, putting different things. And that's why, when it comes to the earliest manuscript, to the, uh, you know, to, to the Bible, or to the, to the gospel, as you, may, as you call it, you don't find them written in Greek, where Jesus is. Is this assumption you just take on and must be corrupted? Like you assume you assume Jesus spoke Greek, the same assumption. We assume he spoke Greek because the, the, the historians write about what the Romans were speaking at the time. They spoke Latin, they spoke Latin. No, no, they spoke Latin. And as well, they have interpreted it. They spoke Latin. Originally, they spoke Latin. Yes, they spoke Latin. Roman, the Roman Empire, they spoke Latin. Uh, well, pro again, you understand, if, listen to this. The problem is, what we are dealing with human beings, yeah? Where are you from originally, by the way? You're from China? You're from Mauritius, yeah? Okay. You know, suppose, where are you originally from? You're descended. Do you know where? Like, I don't know, most like the uh, some part of uh, China. Maybe Eastern China, yeah. And I assume you speak French, correct? Or broken French in Morocco. That's how it is, yeah. You see here, just like to say to a Chinese guy, when 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 the Chinese when, when they were when they were attacked by the Japanese and took over, for example, big portion of China by the by the Japanese, you don't expect the Chinese to say to come and communicate to everyone in Japanese language because at the end of the day, it's their language is the Chinese. That's how this is their language. The point is, it, they will not go with the people who defeated them or the people who, for example, uh, uh, who uh, with uh, they occupied them. Now, this, in the same context, in the same concept. We're talking about the Roman officials at that time, they generally spoke, you know, Latin. That's how it is, because that's the language of the Roman Empire. Now, later on, I understand there used to be some elite people, whatever, they spoke Greek, whatever. It could be, what we, 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 don't, we don't remove this from the, from, as, 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 as could be there, it could be, as, as could be a case. But to assume that Jesus spoke in Greek to the people, that's totally nonsense. That's one thing. That shows. Okay, okay, okay. Simple as that. Simple as that. For example, can you recite the gospel in on the tongue of Jesus? How it was recited as Jesus recited? Can you? And the tongue, how Jesus recited it. We're talking about the word of God. When God spoke, spoke in a way, yeah? That way to be recited. This way to be recited. I will give you an example. I don't know what church you follow. I don't know what church you follow. Are, are you Catholic? Christian non-denomination. Non non-denomination, okay, good. For example, in Catholicism, the official, the official uh, way in dealing with it is Latin. 
that's what they do. That's why the Pope speak Latin, that, that when they recite the Pope, whatever, when they recite, they will speak in Latin, they will use the Latin language. Yeah? Yes, I know they translate it to different languages, to do, including Arabic, whatever, but we're talking about when it comes to that, they will say this is the origin, this is how it is, this is how it should be. Yeah? Now, so when you say to a, when you say to one of the one of the church fathers, one of the current church fathers, the Catholic church father, when you say to them, can you recite portion of the of the of the gospel? We'll start reciting in, in Latin. That's how it should be done. Should be, that's how they think it should be done. Now, going back in the same concept, when God spoke in it and communicated to the people in a way, God wanted us to recite this revelation on this what he has said in the way that he has said it. Yes, yes, for example, I will give you, you, you speak French, you speak English, correct? You speak French. You don't speak French? You, you speak Mauritian, broken, yeah? You know, yeah, bro, Mauritian. Yeah? Now, my question is, can you make a joke? In, 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 in Mauritius. Can you kind of translate it to English? Does it sound funny? Uh, again, what you're saying Does it sound funny? It's a joke. Yeah. Does it sound funny? Yeah. It doesn't sound funny. Exactly, yeah, but I can, I can, I can, I can it's a story in real and I can relate the same story in English. No, no, I'm not talking about the story. I'm talking about the word of God. When, 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 yeah, for example, for example, I will give you one example. The Bible is many stories, it's talking about stories like Moses, like when they write, it's a, the Ten Commandments. It could yeah, be yeah exactly. Hebrew, no. But it's translated into English, and I understand exactly what it's saying. It says, no, what, what, no, what, what, we're, we're not talking about, listen. listen. So, 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 I would say it's lost in translation. Saying, good, good, I'm not talking about this. I'm not talking about, and I'm not talking about their instructions. I'm talking about certain things. For example, when they said about Jesus, the begotten Son of God. Okay. Do you know what means begotten? So, so if you take that word begotten, because there's some denominations that might say yes, begotten, this might be um, problematic. And they're bringing up that saying that Jesus was actually uh, created. You know, saying created. Now, I, I don't have necessary evidence for that to say, okay, I'm sure of evidence to say he's created because other verses don't, don't um, support it. Like, I don't look at one verse and say, that's it, he was created. I look at many, many verses and, and there's four verses in By the way, what's your name? By the way, just to talk about I don't know, what's your name? What's your name? Huh? Sean? Sean. Sean. I'll give you one example to tell you. If there is a translation and you bring the translation to the begotten son, where where the heck this this word came from? When you say begotten, yes, begotten. Do you know what means begotten? You know what means begotten. And everyone that's born, it's literally like human, it's like physical thing. When you think human, we say it's oh, it's born. No, not born, not just born. We're not talking about born, we're talking about begotten. Because it's different than born. Begotten, literally. They need to have a father, they need to have a mother, and having intimate relationship in order to have a child, which this child to be begotten. Well, hold on, God, okay, okay. God's not like that. You can't say he has to have a mother to be born, because, no. because God does things that are not like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's my point. My point is exactly the same. Okay, inshallah. Yeah? That's, my point is exactly. So when they have used the term begotten, salam wa when they have used the term begotten, that means where this word came from. So that shows the translation literally messed up the whole thing. Let alone, let alone adding to this, adding to this. That's my statement. Adding to this. The earliest ones who wrote the gospel, none of them met Jesus. Who's John? The, the biblical scholar they doubt they don't they cannot confirm that john one of the disciples they said john they have five john was a common name was he john the baptist 
Was he John the one who was crucified beside Jesus? Which John are you talking about? Was he a disciple? John the revelator of the disciple. No, by the way, some scholars, I'm not talking about Muslim scholars, I'm talking about biblical scholars. Who doesn't know who's John? And the truth, the truth is, if John was living in that, in that era, generally people, they are known with their father's name. They will say John, the son of such. That's what it is. We have in the beginning, for example, of Gospel of John, whatever, and then we talk about you know the, about the, the the family, the family tree of Jesus. We talk about Jesus, the son of that. All of these names, they will give the names, the whole names of the fathers of Jesus. But when it comes, when it comes to John, John the unknown, no one knows who's John. No one knows. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not bringing my own, you know, our own thing. So if John is not known, I looked, I looked at the number of scholars that doubted, but the general consensus finds that there is no consensus. When there is, when there is some, they doubt that there is no consensus. Matthew wrote Matthew, Mark wrote Mark, Luke, the doctor By the way, by the way, they didn't write it. Even they didn't write it. Do you know, do you know what is written in the beginning of the book? They said, this book is written, that's how it is. This book is according. Do you know what means according to John? Do you know what means according? Do you know what it means according? According to what they saw. Meaning the one who is writing, is writing according to. So even the one who is writing is not known. So it's not, so no one can claim John wrote. When he say according to John, it means according to what John narrates. What he said. And that's why you'll find four Gospels different than each other. Contradicting. They didn't write. They didn't write. They said according to. According to means they didn't write. <laughs> Maybe the same person. By the way. If there's more eyewitnesses saying they saw some person over here, is it better than one eyewitness? Or one person says no, they saw someone over here. Can I show? Show, show. Someone we have, we have this conversation. Someone seeing that will say this conversation according to Sean. So they will say Sean according to Sean could misrepresent what you said, could add, could deduct. This what journalists they say, and according to officials, they say such and this what they say, yeah, correct? Not necessarily the officials will say that. We say according to that they will use. They are, they know what they have quoting. They know that word what it means. It means it's not hundred percent exactly. It's according to what they say. Do you see the difference? One second. May, no, no. Maybe the same person who says according. We don't know. With this argument that you're using here, you can say the same thing about the Quran. Yeah, when, when it comes to, I will, I will tell you what, I will tell you what, in the, when it comes to the Quran, I will tell you how it was represented. But my point is, firstly, firstly, the language is not there. The, you know, misinterpretation is definitely there. Secondly, those people who are ambiguous personality, which we don't know, none of them, except they say John was the Baptist, or they say John was the, one of the disciples, that's what they say. But the other ones, no one knows who's who. Even they say John copied from Mark. Correct? Yeah, even they say John copied from someone else. So, we have, we have these issues, even them copying from each other, and yet they, they, don't have, they are not 100%. Even the one who narrates from them, they say according to them, and yet to say, Oh, it has the truth. What is the truth? They didn't copy each other. We report for the... No, they copied each other. No, they copied. John copied from Mark. We become witness for these people, yeah? No, no. So you write your own observation, the same decision. By the way, they say... But it's maybe. But it wrote. Because they are at the same time. No. Copy him. Someone wrote before. Who wrote? No one knows. No one knows. How do you know? Because they were living the same the same era. No. The same time. How do you know? Huh? How do you because know? it's written there. The huh? 12 apostles, he nominated Jesus Listen, Christ listen, 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 listen. 
adding to your information, just to add to your information. When they say this book according to John, do you know what it means? Yeah. Do you know what it means, reality? Do you know what it means? Yeah. What it means? According to John, who John? When John wrote, he said, according to John, no. baptized. One second. Do you think John, he said, when he was writing, he said, this book is according to John, or someone was writing saying, this book according to John? No. For example, when no. I, when I know. wrote things, uh, according to Mr. Listen. G, Mr. Poole. Going back, going back. No, 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 no. Uh, otherwise, it should be said according to Jesus. John said, John's supposed to say, this book is according to what Jesus said. But it wasn't like that. The case was as follows. It was said, this book is according to John. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. You know, uh, let me tell you, sir. We're talking oh, about. We are talking about. If you witness for him, according to Jah. You see, I mean, according to Jah. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. If you write a book, will you say this book is according to Sean, or you will say this book is what I know? You say this is what I know. They use it as a yeah? person. Yeah. One second, one second. When I am writing from you, one second. When I am writing from you, yeah, I will say this book is according to Sean. Do you see the difference? I'm writing a book about Jesus. I say this is a book and I was the first. According to him. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Not according to Jesus. Good, good. But no, you will say this is what I saw. This is what I witnessed. This is what I testify. No problem. If you, but it wasn't it. The case, the, the case, each book, each gospel was saying this book is according to. Meaning there is a third person who was writing copying or saying or testifying about about John and about Mark, about Luke, about those ones. That's, that's the way they, they say it. No, that's not the way. In the, that's old, the, way. In the old Testament, in the old Testament, in the old Testament. When you read Shakespeare, he didn't say, no. I do this thing. Yeah. This layman tried it. Yeah, yeah. This is their sophisticated. Yeah, the same thing. No, no, no. They say, according to God. It means, according to God. No, that's not, that's not, that's nonsense. Who said this? That's nonsense. That's nonsense. Even, even, even with right the common here, people. When you see right here, you can't say, I'll just cross the hand like this. Oh. No, I'm not even making him. Yeah, yeah. I'm asking him because he's a scholar. Yeah, that's, again, that is, that is, again, that is nonsense. Do you know why it's nonsense? When I am writing about myself, I will not say this book is according to Muhammad. I will say, I know this, one, two, three, four. I will not say according to. They have used a good, a, a, a perfect term to say, to describe what happened. The term is according to meaning, there is a third person who wrote according to John, there is a third person who wrote according to Mark, and so on and so forth. That's how it is. This third person is not known. We don't know who's he. 